Hi hey guys, Mickey from Hot Cartel. Back again for a second video. So I just went hunting through the um, <clears throat> the bee archives, the homebrew archives, and came across. something I brewed a long time ago. I cracked it because I mean I whacked one in the fridge a couple of days ago because um, I want to start clearing out some of the, um, the stock I've got over there. When I first when I tried this six weeks into um, after bottling um, was a bit overwhelming, but it's the Viking beer. It smells good. The bottle smells good. Settle down nicely. Wow. Anyway. I don't think I dated it when I um, when I first <coughs> bottled it, but I'll just check. Thirteen months ago. Thirteen months ago. I put this puppy down, a Viking beer. Wormwood, lemon myrtle, um, a few other things went into this one. I can't quite remember, like I said, uh, 13 months ago. Funny how things can change over an um, extended amount of time. You now, when I first tried it, I thought, how could they, um, how could they even drink this? But all the way back then, in the Viking days, they probably would have drunk anything they could. To be merry, there's. A lot of stuff floating around in there. It's a very highly carbonated brew. It's settled down a bit now, but hides the alcohol very well now. I'm gonna say this is um I've had that much out of it. I've had a few beforehand, I've had a Denki Lager, the um the grapefruit wheat. And um, and, uh, Cascade Lace Lager from a while ago as well. So I'll say I refrigerated a fair few that I brewed a, a while ago and chill down for a couple of days, get an idea with how much my tastes have changed since I last had them and if they're no good then they're down the drain but um, because let's say the temperatures have fluctuated over the last two years where I've had them stored so beers that were of a decent caliber are now no good um, some beers that I thought were no good to begin with have certainly um, certainly came good and they're not session beers that's for sure well this one's very high alcohol anyway I just thought I'd um, jump on do another video in regards to the Viking beer it's always good to um, I may have already spoken about this one previously and I'm pretty sure it was about 13 months ago from um, 
from what the tag says on the shelf. I did do two versions of the Viking beer, so I could could be wrong. I've done a later version where it was a more refined recipe offline. Whereas the other one I'd done was just something that got sent to me. As a request, sort of a dare, so I'd done it. Um, I think it's that one that's... Um, It was just a request. Anyway, cheers. Like, share, subscribe. Once again, jump on. Join up to the World Home Brew Club. Um, check out Hop Cartel if you're into growing hops or you're just a hop head like myself and many others. Um, get involved. Um, homebrew community on Facebook is quite strong here in, in Australia We and we do welcome members from around the world I would say we've got um, members from on World Home Brew Club from Brazil here in Australia, we've got America there's a few there from um, UK, England um, it's probably uh, I'm pretty sure we've got a South African in there somewhere. Um, but um, one in, all in. Well done, Brew Club, Op Cartel. Cheers.